So hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be ranking every roller coaster at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So for you going to like this video, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. Without further ado, let's get straight on into it. So just a disclaimer, before I get into the video, um, the first time that I went to Blackpool Pleasure Beach was in 2020. So you're not going to see any roller coasters like the Wild Mouse. You're only going to see the current 10 roller coasters that are operating at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So at number 10 on my list, I have Steeplechase. This is an aerodynamics roller coaster that opened back in 1977. Now I've only ever been on Steeplechase once um, and the ride that I had on it wasn't good. Um, I just didn't enjoy it. It just didn't do anything for me. Um, the trains felt really rigid on the track because they're quite, um, you know, slender um, and, you know, there's only one um, rider per row. It just didn't feel good to me. Um, it wasn't particularly rough. It wasn't a particularly great ride either. Again, it just didn't do anything for me and I don't really have any feelings towards it um, that's why it ranks at this place on the list when I go um, this year to Blackpool Pleasure Beach it may rank higher um, again I've only been on the very left hand side track um, I've not been on the uh, middle or the right track so again it may rank higher um, later this year but for now it's staying at my number 10 spot so at my number nine spot, we have Infusion. This is a standard Vacoma SLC. So if you've ridden Infusion, you know why it's at my number nine spot on my list. I just don't enjoy this roller coaster at all. Um, the first time that I ever went on this roller coaster, it was painful. Um, normally, I enjoy a good Vacoma SLC. I love um, the Odyssey at Fantasy Islands, um, but this is just too painful. I just don't feel like it's got a good layout. Um, I really don't enjoy the fact as well that it's only um, running a one train service constantly. So a Blackpool Pleasure Beach don't actually own another train for this um, roller coaster. So you're always waiting in a long queue to get on it. And when you get on it, again, it doesn't do much for me at all. And it's just so, so painful. In all honesty, if I was Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I would just completely tear this roller coaster out and put something less painful in its place. I just feel like, again, it, there's nothing going for it um, and there's really no um, point in having this roller coaster operating in 2021 therefore I feel like it should be removed and it's at my number nine spot on my list. So if you're a regular viewer of my channel, this will come no surprise to you. In my eighth spot, we have the big one. This is a Aerodynamics Hypercoaster opening in 1994. Now you may be asking me, Ryan, wasn't the big one on your number one most hated roller coasters list? Yes, it was. Um, and I considered putting it at number 10, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a bit more love. Over this lockdown, um, I um, um, grown a new appreciation for the big one because I've been learning a lot more about its heritage and what it's about. Um, and I have to say, it's got quite an impressive backstory um, in regards to how it was built and manufactured if you go back and look at it. Um, the ride experience itself isn't great. Um, I find it really rough, particularly going down that first drop. In all honesty, if you want to know what the first drop feels like on the big one, just throw yourself down the stairs and you've pretty much got the same effect. Um, the rest of the layout um, is a bit dull and a bit boring, um, but it does traverse Blackpool Pleasure Beach really nicely. So trying to find some good things to say about the big one then. So I really do like the helix at the end. I feel like you get some great forces going around that helix section at the end of the roller coaster. Um, I do really like um, the airtime hills on this roller coaster. It does take them with some really nice um, speed. So, you know, you get some um, good forces over there. Although there really isn't any airtime to be found on this roller coaster in my opinion which is a huge missed opportunity because the whole reason of a hyper coaster is just airtime everywhere um, and again you don't really get it with this roller coaster so that's why it places a number eight on my list right at number seven on my list we have blue flyer so Blue Flyer is located in the Nickelodeon section of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. 
This is a kiddies ride and it just doesn't do a whole lot for me in all honesty. Um, I'm not um, the Blue Flyers target audience, therefore it's not gonna rank above something like Big Dipper, for example. I do enjoy the coaster um, and I do enjoy what it's going for. Um, and I really do feel like it's a good entry level coaster for a kid, for example. Um, but again, I'm just not the target audience for this roller coaster. So I guess it's a break from the big roller coasters and um, that's Blackpool Pleasure Beach, but there's just no point in me riding this roller coaster. Again, therefore it sits at my number seven spot. So at number six on my list, I have Avalanche. This is a Mack Rides bobsled coaster and I do really find this roller coaster comfortable. I don't think it's got a particularly thrilling layout. Um, there's nothing really special um, that distinguishes it from some of the other roller coasters on this list but I do think it's a good relaxing ride. The first time that I went on this, I felt like I got the most thrills out of it because a bobsled coaster doesn't really have a track um, that it goes around. It has more of a course. Um, you do feel like you're going to hit the sides of um, that track as you're going round. And again, I, I feel like that is the main thrill of this roller coaster. But when I go on it now, I just don't get anything from it um, in terms of thrills. But I do still find it a good, enjoyable ride. Ride. Now, Avalanche is one of those roller coasters that I wouldn't go on if it had a overly long queue, but if it had a shortish queue, I definitely would queue up for this roller coaster and go on it. That's why it currently sits at my number six. Right, so we're really digging into my top five now. In my number five spot, we have Nick Streak. Now, Nick Streak is a fantastic wooden roller coaster. Um, it really is, and it doesn't get enough love, in my opinion. Um, this roller coaster um, used to be just called the roller coaster. Um, but it was changed when that area of the park was changed from Beaver Creek to Nickelodeon Land. And again, I really do enjoy this roller coaster. There's nothing on it that I really would say that I don't like. Um, is it a bit rough? Yes, but that comes with the roller coaster's age. If Nickelodeon Land ever got um, a retheme, I do feel like this roller coaster would be renamed. Um, therefore, it would get a different theme. I really do feel like it would rank a little bit higher if it didn't have that color scheme. Um, at the moment, it's bright orange, and I really don't like that. <laughs> I really do think it looks a bit ugly, um, and it really doesn't suit the ride at all. So if it was, um, you know, resprayed um, a different color, maybe a gray, maybe a white, even sprayed black, it would just look a lot better. But again, it rides great, um, but it's just not as good as other roller coasters on this list, so it currently sits at my number five spot. So at number four on my list, we have the Grand National. Now, before you um, spam me with hate comments down in the comment section, I know this is a very unpopular opinion, but a rough ride doesn't make a bad ride, and I feel like the Grand National is a perfect example of this. So the Grand National could really do with a bit of a retrack, because um, going around its layout, it is rough. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's rough, and in some places it can be painful. But if you lean into the um, corners as you go around um, the Grand National's layout, it really isn't that bad. Um, and there is some great airtime to be had on this ride as well. There's a few um, sections on the Grand National that really stand out to me. One of them is that double down section um, as you really um, start touching the ground. I really do like that section um, and the airtime hills on it, as I've mentioned, are fantastic. Now, I know there are some die-hard fans of the Grand National out there. Um, it really does have a small cult following. Um, and I really do feel like this roller coaster, you know, needs a little bit more love in the enthusiast community. Again, you've got to understand that this, among um, some of the other roller coasters at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, are classic coasters. Therefore, they're not going to be at the standards of other coasters that we have here in the UK. Um, but they are great rides. And I feel like when you ride them, you do have to take them at face value. Um, and that is no exception to the Grand National. Therefore, it's a my number four spot. So next on my list, we have Revolution. This is a Aerodynamics launched looping coaster opening in 1979. 
So I really do love Revolution. I really do think it's a fantastic roller coaster. Um, you get a little pop of air time as you go from that first launch um, downwards um, off of the platform. Um, I love going forwards and backwards through that loop. Um, and the launches on this roller coaster really are quite forceful. You got to bear in mind this roller coaster opened in 1979. So for um, a roller coaster that opened in 1979, those launches are fantastic. Now, this is one of those roller coasters that I feel is like a hidden gem. Um, at the top of the station platform, you do get some great views of the park. You get some great views of the Big One Station, and you now get some great views of Icon. So that's why Revolution sits at my number three spot on my list. So at my number two spot, we have the Big Dipper. This opened in 1923 and was modified in 1936. So I really do have a love for this roller coaster. Um, I really do feel, again, like it's one of those roller coasters that's given a bit too much hate for the ride experience. You've got to remember, again, this ride is going on for 100 years old. It'll be 100 years old in 2023, which is absolutely insane to think about. And I really hope that Blackpool Pleasure Beach do throw it a great birthday. So this is one of those rides where I feel like a rough ride doesn't necessarily make a bad ride. Again, people judge it for its ride experience, but what you do get on this roller coaster is some fantastic airtime and a great out and back layout. So the Big Dipper has had some retrack work done over the closed season. So I feel like when we do get back on this in April, it's going to ride absolutely fantastically over those sections that have had the retrack work completed. One other thing I wanted to mention in this video as well, is it a hybrid coaster? Now, the reason I say this is because as it comes off of the second lift hill and you're going over that turnaround section over the station, that um, bit is actually made of metal. The um, supports itself are made of metal. So is it a um, hybrid coaster? Let me know down in the comments. One thing is for certain though, this roller coaster is absolutely fantastic and therefore it sits at my number two spot. So this goes without saying, but at my number one spot, we have Icon. This is a Mac Rides Mac Mega Launch, which opened in 2018. So this is what Blackpool Pleasure Beach needed in 2018. It really is. It brought people in droves back to the park and gave the park a lot of good publicity. So talking about the UK theme park industry in general, we needed this. We needed a Mac Mega Launch coaster here in the UK and we got one. Um, I absolutely love Icon. I really do. It sits at my number two spot over in my overall coasters list, um, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I really do love the forces that you get on this roller coaster along with the airtime. Some great moments on this roller coaster as you come out of the first launch, that top hat element which you launch into is absolutely insane. The ejector airtime is absolutely fantastic and I absolutely love it. Um, then you go into um, some helix sections um, and I really love those as well. Again, great forces um, and the interaction with um, other roller coasters that you get on Icon is absolutely fantastic. It's just, it's just an all round great roller coaster. So again, Icon sits at my number one spot in my black Pleasure Beach roller coasters ranking list. So whilst I was writing this video, I did a bit of a would you rather. So I put two roller coasters head to head at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and I asked you guys, which one would you rather ride? Um, and these are the results of that. So the first would you rather was Nick Streak versus Steeplechase. You guys chose Nick Streak with an overwhelming result of 71%. That was no surprise. I was really expecting that to happen. Um, and yeah, I I do agree with that. So the next one I did was Grand National versus Big Dipper and I was really surprised to know that you guys preferred the Big Dipper with again an overwhelming response of 80%. I really really wasn't expecting that. I really expected you guys to come through with the Grand National as your favourite um, over the Big Dipper but obviously not. I was, I was very surprised with that one. 
Now I swear this isn't a troll post, but I actually put the big one against Icon and obviously the Icon um, came out um, with an overwhelming response of 81%. I was expecting this to happen, um, but there wasn't really anything that I could compare Icon to um, it, at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So yeah, Icon won that one. So just as a bit of a laugh, I decided to put Ice Blast against Sky Force, and Ice Blast won with a result of 56% in favour of Ice Blast. Um, again, I wasn't expecting um, Sky Force to win. I really do feel like Ice Blast is a fantastic um, SNS shock tower um, and a great addition to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So guys, that's all I have for today, unfortunately. If you want to give me your own top 10 Blackpool Pleasure Beach roller coasters, please do let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you have liked this video, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. And so you don't miss another poll on my Instagram again, I have linked my Instagram down below in the description. So guys, I've been Ryan from iCoaster and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.